Bob's it's Em. So I have had quite a lot of people over the last, ever since I cut my hair, which was when? December? I'm pretty sure it was December. So over the last few months I've had quite a few people asking me every now and then, what should I ask for when I go to get my hair cut? I want my hair cut like yours and I don't know what to ask for, I don't know what picture to take in, etc, etc. Now obviously um, this has grown out because it's been a good almost five months. Yeah, so it's been a long time since I did get it cut, but, and right now it's not styled perfectly because I went to sleep and then it got a bit, like, mangled. Basically, when I went and chopped all my hair off, I took a picture of Jennifer Aniston's bob when she first cut it this year, or not this year, but last year, and it was just that kind of long, like, really chic bob. I took a picture, and I will put a picture of the, bob, of the picture of Jennifer Aniston that I took in on my blog, so if you guys are wondering, I can't put it in, in this video for copyright reasons, but I will put it on my blog. And then I also took a picture of Heidi Klum, and she had, again, a long bob. So basically, I just asked for a really kind of long, just a long kind of angled A-line bob, and I also asked for a little bit of layers in the back. Basically, it's just longer in the front and then a little bit shorter in the back. I have no idea what it looks like in the back, so I apologize, but I'm going to turn around. So if it looks like total poop, sorry, but you can see like when it was cut, it was quite a bit shorter up here, and then it just kind of gradually gets a little bit longer in the front. This side, for some reason, looks longer, but it's only because it's flipping out. They are the same length. And then I just have a side bang, so um, basically if you want exactly what I'm having, I mean, you can just say where you want the length. But I would just ask for taking that picture of Jennifer Aniston or Heidi Klum. I'll put the pictures on my blog so that you guys can see. But just a, a kind of a long A-line with some light layers around the back and kind of around the bottom. And then just with um, a long side bang. I cut mine with a carving comb, which is basically like a razor, so that it's kind of more a little, a little bit feathered out. That's really all I all I asked for. And my hair, if you're wondering as far as like texture goes, it's probably medium texture and it has a slight wave to it. So naturally, um, if you watch my video on Friday, my Friday favorites, you'll see that's my natural wave. So it's definitely not pin straight, but it's definitely not really curly, it's just kind of in the middle. Um, and then it's not super thin, but it's not super thick. I would say if you have long hair and you're wanting to do something that's a little bit more maybe stylish, but not a really major upkeep, a long bob is good. If you go with like a really kind of stacked up, like kind of Victoria Beckham, which I love, I love that haircut, but I've had it before, it is so much upkeep. If you wanna keep it, you have to go in like every six weeks, keep on getting it trimmed, you have to style it because you can't just kind of let it go, which is kind of another, with this with this haircut, you do kind of have to style it a little bit because if you kind of let it go, it looks a bit pooish. It's better once you style it and flatter it and make it all like woo woo, you know, like real chic and sophisticated. But it's definitely a lot easier for me now that it's gotten a little bit longer because I can still throw it up in a ponytail, which is awesome if you're a mom, you know. Most of the time, <laughs> I, I don't have my hair down because you guys know, you watch my videos. Usually, I don't have time to style it and babies like to pull hair. They think it's funny and then if you're like crawl, you're usually always like this. You're never just sitting up straight perfectly. You're always on the floor or whatever you're doing or cleaning and then it's all in your face. I always usually just wear my hair up. As when I'm done with this video, it'll be going up. But for the purpose of you guys, I left it down. But yeah, that's all I really asked for. I hope that helps. Definitely check out those pictures. I think taking a picture in, I think it, it depends. I used to be a hairstylist and I loved when people brought in a picture because what you describe to someone, they might see a completely different vision. If you say you want a long bob, it might be here to them, but to you, it's down here. So I always recommend taking in a picture and if they get offended, I don't know. I never got offended. I used to love it because I was like, cool, this is exactly what the person wants. Same goes with color. I know what they want. I know what they're expecting. And then I can say, yes, this will work for you. No, it won't work for you or whatever. And you can discuss it. But I think the most important thing when getting your hair cut is good communication. Letting your stylist know exactly what you want. Don't be afraid to be picky. It's your hair. You're paying for the haircut. Tell them exactly what you want as far as what your schedule is like, 
how often you style it or how like you know for me I would say I'm a mom I want to be able to look cute if I want to but make it so that it's easy so that I can still throw it up but I can still have it styled and be kind of I feel like a little bit better you know so don't be afraid to tell them what you want don't be afraid to take in a picture I always recommend don't do the searching for the picture there do it on your own time before you go in because if you're looking through the books then you're like oh crap I can't find the picture I'm looking for and then you're all frazzled and then you end up just picking something and you might be disappointed when you leave so I always say Google Google images search for your pictures and take them in or you can take it in on your phone or whatever that way they know what you're wanting you know what you're wanting it's clear there's gonna be no miscommunication no one's gonna leave unhappy or crying that is never good. Um, you know, they probably think I'm a picky little person, but I, I I always leave happy for the most part because I've told them what I wanted. And if they if you and if you do show them exactly what you want and you've, you know, kind of discussed texture and discussed exactly what's going on with your hair and then you leave disappointed, that's poo. And usually if you're not happy with a haircut, don't be afraid to call them back up and say, hey, it wasn't as well as as short as I wanted. Most stylists, they want to keep you happy so that you keep coming back. They'll fix that for no charge. I'm not going to talk for everyone because I don't know how every salon works, but that's how our salon was. So if you weren't happy, you could come back for free within a certain amount of time. It was usually like, I don't know, five days and we would fix it for free. So that way you, you know that your customer is going to be happy and they're going to continue coming back to you. But don't be afraid to, to let them know exactly this is what I'm wanting. So I would say that's the biggest key is just communication. I hope that helps. I feel like I've talked forever about a stupid haircut. <laughs> but you know, I'm just a talker. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And um, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, please subscribe. Bye!